I think to kind of do a walkthrough of the scene to see what we have uh, before going in there. And we have a lot of experience here. As part of continued efforts to provide valuable training to local governments so they can respond during times of need, the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services facilitates training for first responders who are deployed through the state's mutual aid system. This training includes conducting full-scale exercises with law personnel to simulate different emergencies, such as one involving multiple casualties. The search parties have just started their search of the scene. That is all the information that I have it's at this time. Been five hours! Recently, Cal OES partnered with Butte County Sheriff's Office on how to process a scene and provide resources to loved ones. Known as a Family Assistance Center, Cal OES and Partners established this hub to provide families information about missing loved ones, counseling, and bereavement. Part of that, we need this type of training so that those that are responding uh, have a game plan of what that response should look like and be able to manage that response. This expertise is especially important given California is prone to climate-driven natural disasters of all kinds, like wildfires that can unfortunately take the lives of local residents. With the addition of new technology like rapid DNA machines, Cal OES and its partners can help provide families the answers they need quickly. DNA has been a long, around for a long time, and uh, but in the proper uh, scenario, rapid DNA is a very viable uh, technology that can turn a DNA identification from a process that used to take six months into one that takes less than a day. Forensic anthropologist Eric Bartlink participated in this exercise, teaching participants how to respectfully handle an area burnt by wildfire. Uh, without any training, it's uh, very difficult to determine whether something is human remains or even bone versus uh, burn debris. And so this is to provide some basic understanding of what burn remains look like and how to identify those. During the 28 campfire, he and his team from Chico State were called in to lend their expertise. By providing state resources, Cal OES can help communities recover after any major incident and help provide families with closure and support. To see more from us, visit our website, news.caloes.ca.gov, and follow us on all of our social media channels.